West Virginia House of Delegates made history today. They passed a single member 100 district map to be used for the next 10 years for the first time in the state's history. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas joins us now from the state capitol. So Larissa, how will this map be different? Well, Marilee, for one, this new map has 100 districts, which is a change from the current 67 districts. And under this new map, there is one delegate per roughly every 17,000 people in West Virginia. Outside the Capitol, it is a beautiful day. Inside the Capitol, the ugliest kind of sausage making with redistricting, tweeted Delegate Joey Garcia of Marion County Tuesday. <laughs> On Wednesday, as the House passed its final redistricting map, the sentiment was hit or miss depending on who you spoke with. We could have done a much better job of keeping communities together, uh, staying closer to county lines, uh, and uh, keeping incumbents from running against each other. Anytime the political process happens, people are going to be accused of being partisan, but I think that this was viewed through a lens of trying to concentrate on creating 100 single-member districts, and I think we did a pretty good job. The Republican-led House of Delegates says the new map will give more fair and equitable representation for the citizens of West Virginia, but not everyone agrees. Yes, it's historic. No, it is not fair. Delegate John Doyle says his hometown of Shepherdstown in Jefferson was divided into two separate delegate districts. We, the Democrats, offered an alternative. Uh, it was the last amendment, uh, which, which had a 100-single-member uh, district plan and each one of those districts was no more than 1% in variance from the optimal number. Delegate Moore Capito says they tried to keep communities as whole as possible. We know with the population um, being dispersed out and some is more rural, some is more urban, that it's almost impossible to keep counties completely whole. one more step needed before this House district map is finalized and that is approval from the state Senate. Lawmakers also continue to work on the new congressional map which will go down from three to two districts this year. For 13 News, Larissa Casillas working for you.